Do you look out in, like, for instance, when you look on an iPad or when you look on an iPhone or whatever and you go on the social media platforms, which would be, you know, maybe our Instagrams or our yeah. YouTube or whatnot, are you pressured at all by anything you see? And if not, why not? If yes, why yes? Sometimes because I think... I'm just being truthful. Sometimes because I think other ladies are quite pretty and... Yeah, but sometimes I feel a bit off and feel like I'm not as pretty as them. The Grimway family actually showing real life despite social media feeding us all that real hype. We just some real guys trying to give some high definition to reality. Family acrobatically juggling lies. Small things tries to avoid eternal casualty trust. It ain't easy, but teamwork make the dream work. It's me, Ella, Hesse, Hosanna, Harper, and Halley. Uh, and hi. I ain't forget I had to ride join the family. Hi, Hosanna, darling. Hello. Are you okay? Yeah. Good, good, good. One of our subscribers asked specifically if we would have a little bit of time with just you. Yep. Are you alright with that? Yes. Yeah? Cool. Um, so, yes. Tell me about yourself in your own words. What kind of things you like to do, what you don't like, maybe why. Well, this is first what I do like. I like looking at books, I like cooking, I find it very interesting. I like doing cheerleading, I like being around people, as in my family and other people. And yeah, so yeah. that's all what I, what I, all of what I do like doing. Oh, and I do like sleeping a lot. Yeah, <laughs> okay, cool. Well, everyone likes a bit of sleep. It's just not always a luxury that we all get, but it's all good if you can. Yeah. Um, so, why, in fact, before I go there, what don't you like? What? Give me some things you don't like. Um, Could be anything. I don't really like bananas. Um, not really lemons or limes. Uh, what else do I not like? Well, I don't like people being annoying sometimes and stressing my mum and dad out. That's about it. Okay, cool. Well, that's very kind of you. And it kind of leads me on to my next thing, is your kind-hearted nature that the subscribers have all picked up on. So they see you and they always comment and say, that Hosanna, there's something special about that Hosanna. Um, she has such a kind spirit. And you really do. For a young child, it's, it's mind-boggling. Mind and I'm your dad. Do you know what I mean? Um, why do you care for people so much? I guess that that's just the way God made me. I don't really know, maybe because I just like to. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Um, why, because on a couple of vlogs, you know, that we've done, you've said some very profound things that are a lot past your years. You are clearly very intelligent um, and you have a lot of knowledge in that head already, although you've only been around six years. It's probably because of mummy and daddy, because I came from them one and because they told me quite a lot about the world. Well, fair enough, that's, that's, that's top stuff. Um, Go on, yeah, go on, go. But sometimes I do have my times when I'm a bit when I'm a bit mean to people, but most of the time I'm kind. Listen, <laughs> sweetheart. The thing is, everybody has their times where they're not, you know, perfect to people, or you know, and, and maybe treating people as they would, or they know they should. Do you know what I mean? Um, we all get ratty. You know, some of it, like for me, for instance, it's um, you can yawn, babe. That's fine. I know you're trying to not. <laughs> Um, for me, it's when I get tired or when I get hungry, especially. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> when I get hungry, I'm a bit bratty and I'm like, Mummy, I want something now. Yeah, you, but you don't talk like that. I, I literally, I've never heard you talk like that. I, I've heard you, you know, be a bit like, Oh, Mum, is there any food? Mum, is there any food? But you're never rude. You're, you're not that type of person. I, I've never experienced that from you. Um, tell me about or tell the subscribers 
how you find YouTube and how you find the Greenway Family channel. How do you find it? Do you enjoy it? Blah, blah, blah. Well, sometimes I do, especially when we, like, for instance, for instance, yeah. when we went to Buckley Manor or oh, Ruxley Manor, Ruxley Manor yeah. I especially found that bit, that vlog, very fun. And, and why did you find that one specific, uh, like specifically fun? Because we all got to see reindeers, we got to see decorations, we got to see fish, we got to see snakes. Well, we got to see one snake, and we got to see some even. Guinea pigs or bunny rabbits? Uh -huh. Is it, yeah. I think it was or both. Rabbits. I think it was both actually. Oh. But um, do you like animals? Yeah, some of them. Yeah. What are you always trying to get mummy and daddy to get? A horse. I love horses. I, I have like this thing what I really love about them. Maybe it's because they're like they get you get to ride on them and I've never been like horse riding in a long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. Um, tell me, Hosanna, as a young lady in today's society, yeah, do you feel any pressure to be any kind of certain way? Do you see, um, do you look out in, like, for instance, when you look on an iPad or when you look on an iPhone or whatever and you go on the social media platforms, which would be, you know, maybe our Instagrams or our YouTube or whatnot? Are you pressured at all by anything you see? And if not, why not? If yes, why yes? Sometimes because I think, I'm just being truthful, sometimes because I think other ladies are quite pretty and yeah, but sometimes I feel a bit off and feel like I'm not as pretty as them, but it's probably just because they, they're older than me and they've got like lots of makeup on and it's because they're, taking picture, so they're probably going to be ready for it all, so yeah. Hosanna, first things first, you are the most beautiful girl, you know, including Mummy and Harper and Hallie that I've ever laid my eyes on and I love you also. Um, I will never stop loving you, you are absolutely amazing. Um, and I appreciate your honesty and I think the subscribers will likewise um, appreciate your um, honesty. I'm, I'm actually sitting here and it, it's quite emotional for me because you speak like an adult. You, you talk like a young woman. You are six years old and you have such wisdom in that head of yours. And also you, you are so transparent, which means honest, see-through. Transparent means, like for instance, a window is transparent. You can see through it. Um, you don't lie. You don't pretend to be anything you're not. And I really pray you would continue to do that. Um, did you have something you wanted to say, babe? Wait, what's it, what's it called again? I do like putting on makeup though sometimes, but I hardly ever get to do it. Yeah, we go on, though. Sorry. Because I'm not, I'm not really allowed to do it. No. How, where? How do we let you? Um, how does how does mummy and daddy allow you to use makeup? Only if we're at home and stuff, mm -hmm. and it's just like me and mummy and the other girls, or just you, me. And mummy and has a right, of course, because he's not going to be like, oh, look, because he's only a young boy, yeah. yeah. He's only a young baby boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and do you know why we don't allow you to wear it out in the street? Like, Because I'm pretty enough. Absolutely, already. that's uh, definitely one reason. Is there any other reasons we don't let you wear makeup? Because out? it's attractive. Yeah, um, because it, it attracts probably the wrong attention for someone your own age. Right? Yeah. That makes sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. Um, go on, babe. No, I was, I was just listening to you. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so when you grow up, yeah. what would you like to be? What are the, some of the things you might like to achieve in your life when you grow up? I would like to achieve to be a great mum at cooking and just in general, and to be a professional chili duck, as I said on the other vlog. Yeah, huh? yeah. Huh? Um, would you like to get married? Yes, I would. I would like to get married a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Um, as long as he's not <laughs> a Wally, uh, I'm more than happy for the day that you and all the girls. 
get married. I guess my only hope would be when you get married, it's to someone who I can trust, loves you. Do you know what I mean? And, and what, what are some of the things me and mummy say that if, if a man, when you're older, comes for you, what are the few things he has to do? Trust in God. Mm-hmm. Well, believe in God and yeah. be a Christian. Love me. Love my family. Yes. Those are the three, aren't yeah. they? They're the main ones. Yeah. Love God. Love you. And love, love my family. Yeah. And and do you know why it would be important? Go on, man. And of course, love you too you subscribers well if you're still youtubing yeah it's, it's a must man um but do you know why it's important that he loves god because maybe one day i'm like let's go to church today and he'd be and he'd be like maybe maybe we shouldn't maybe we just we should just stay at home and i've been always um told by other people and mummy and daddy you have to listen to your husband and do what he says but sometimes I'm just like don't want to listen to him sometimes because he might say the wrong thing as in like what I just said Mm. and I'm sure um, yeah that that submission to your husband is very important um, and that would be another reason why they must be correct in the first place because if someone's doing the right thing and you following them, that's no problem, is it? Because you're going to follow doing the right things. Yeah. But it's when they do the wrong things. And I know no one's perfect. Daddy's definitely not perfect. But at least when they've got that central truth, remember we keep talking about yeah. the central truth that you come back to um, when you're tripping, when you're wilding, that's what they need to have. Do you know what I mean? Um, for, for you and for them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so you can trust that they are going to take care of you in the most loving ways. You know and my mean? children. And your children, absolutely. Um, go on, babe. If I can ever have some. <laughs> Again, very wise. Like, um, I hope you will, and I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Um, so, God willing, you will have that. Um, do you know why it's important that they love you? Because maybe if they don't love me, they might be out with other girls, or is very wrong. There you go, absolutely, you heard it here first. Um, and what about loving your family? Why is that important? Because they're not marrying your family, are they? No, it's because um, I love my family, I think. Yeah, I love my family. Do you, you think you love your no. family? No. <laughs> I'm saying this is, I think this is the why. The reason, right, yeah, go on. Because um, I love my family and, yeah, God loves my family. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I, I would say that is definitely important and I would say that it's important because if you love your family and then you marry someone who doesn't get on with your family, then Oh, they it's going to it's gonna create arguments and it might, it might happen and bad things might happen. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Again, babe, this has been an absolute pleasure. Um, I'm sure the subscribers have absolutely loved this talk. I've loved this talk and, you know, it wasn't, again, you know, we do, we don't really, like, put down the questions so you know, like, we were just freestyling and, and, and going along. And I, I just think you're an amazing, amazing young child. I really do, whether you're mine or someone else's. I think all the subscribers are absolutely right. You are special, Hosanna, and I pray that you would never, never, never leave the things that you have set in your heart now, um, because the world will test you. Do you know what I mean? It does, unfortunately. But as long as you keep God in your heart and you, you know, you, you be stubborn, you be resilient. Like when those hard times come, you fight back with the right things. Do you know what I mean? Oh, just like in the Bible. Um Jesus, I think, got sent out to the desert and Satan kept Kate on coming back to Jesus to tell him, come on, one was, was, I think this was the first one, Satan said, oh, you're very hungry, aren't you? And they said, "For uh, turn this stone into bread so we can eat it. And then one was jump off this building and then the people will believe you are really you but everybody but some people already 
you believed. Believed, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. (laughs) I can't believe the knowledge in your head. I just can't. It is astounding. Um, And yeah, again, just makes me proud. But um, that was pretty much spot on. Um, I believe the, the last one was the second one you said was when he said oh you can just jump on you can just fly because you can just you know you won't die you're jesus you can do whatever and what is basically what he was doing is what i was just saying the world will try to do to you tempt tempt you to go against god and do it in your own strength or do it your own way and unfortunately our heart is is deceitful and desperately wicked above all things the bible says who should know it and um it will it will, listen, when you're in a bad place, sweetheart, you could convince yourself that you're actually doing something noble, something good, um, because your heart is so wicked. So that is why you must cling to what God says. Do you know what I mean? And in the, um, what's it called again? With the itchy back thing. Oh, the uh, Pilgrim's Progress? Yeah. The, the film? Yeah, um, this guy, um, Satan's... One of Satan's helpers, the demons, mm-hmm. came and said, remember what God did to you. He, he made you have this terrible, nasty, itchy back thing. <laughs> Which um, was representing sin or, yeah. or a person's sin. He carried it on his back, didn't he? Did yeah, because on? he kept on thinking of bad stuff, like mm. scary stuff. And I think that's a, what's it called again? Uh, evil thing to do. God said, don't worry. Uh-huh, yes um, he did. Yeah, and yes, Satan kept on saying, remember what God did to you and everything. I'm trying but, to turn him against yeah. God. And, but this guy just came and said, no way, I'm not giving up on God. And I think he hurt Satan's, one of Satan's demons. Yeah, because I he fought he back. Liked, like, yeah. But he fought back not in his strength, but in God's. Do you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know the story of Job? Where's that? Job, when he was, um, like, the devil went to God and said, oh, look, you, know, you see Job, you like, you know, he's one of your most faithful servants or whatever. Like, I bet if I go and do this to him, he'll turn away from you. But he didn't, and he did everything. He took his family's lives, he, he took his... Um, the way he made money, took away his like business, basically his home, everything. But he, he, you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't turn on God. What do you mean he would? He, he hurt his family, or he... yeah, like because, um, and he, he gave him diseases and everything. Like because God said, okay, you can, you can test him, you can, you can test Job. And Job had to hurt his family. No, 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 Job didn't. Job oh. didn't. No, 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 Job didn't. No, oh. sorry, I, I understand why you're perplexed now. But yeah, um, so yeah, so, but he, he clung on to God just like you do, and, um, and, and all was well in the end. Um, but it was a very, very tough time. And this is the other thing, I think people sometimes struggle with the notion that God allows bad stuff to happen, but the Bible talks about original sin, when Eve, Adam and Eve sinned, it, through that sin, all the other corruption came in to you know our lives and the world or whatnot. So we've kind of got to remember that although it wasn't personally us, it was one of our you know forefathers or whatever. Um, it, we could have yes, but they're still us. So they're we they're kind still of human. Done, we've kind of done it too. Absolutely, and if you check yourself now and you say you know would we do it? Probably. But by God's grace. That's the only reason we don't get into any problems or anything doesn't come upon us. I'm not saying we don't go through any problems. I'm talking if, if a specific problem doesn't come to our front door, it's not by our goodness, it's by God's, God's grace. He's, you know, you, you never know. I was always taught, you never know. Like, say you go on the motorway one day and there's a massive traffic jam and you're kept from getting to your destination. I was always taught, like, you never know what God was keeping you from. Do you know what I mean? Like, you might have been, yeah, you didn't get to your practice for once, one time. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever, but there's more practices. But if you had been ahead of that queue, you might have been the reason there was a queue. And that reason might have been a car crash. Do you know what I mean? Or whatever. So just thank God for your blessings and 
keep working on everything else. Can I just tell the subscribers? Um, God said, um, if if you don't believe in him, you will go to hell when you die. Yeah, was quite sad, and I don't really like the sound of that. But sometimes I feel like I might go to hell because I do bad stuff sometimes. But I keep on trying to trust in, in God and say, please, God, don't let me have to go to hell because it's a nasty place and it's dark and it's you. Will, it feels like you're getting hurt and imagine you have a disease and. Yeah, it's, it's never going away from you and everybody else who does believe in God and they are Christian they will live eternal life but um, people who say they are Christian and don't actually do and aren't actually Christians and do the bad stuff like why just like why just explained and stuff like going up in doing going out with other ladies and stuff and That's yeah. yeah um they might be like they might they're gonna go to hell i think if they don't believe in god and they say i'm very sorry for that but it, it doesn't mean god will trust you still and because god knows what you're gonna do and if you go and say i'm sorry god and then to go and do it again it doesn't mean you're sorry it means you're just following Satan mm-hmm. in your heart. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Or giving in to temptation. Yeah. Um, absolutely. And I know, Hosanna, you have a big thing about you don't want anyone else to go to hell. You don't want anyone to go there. And and unfortunately, heaven and hell is a, is a real thing, we believe, 100%. Um, and it is, you know, something that we have to talk about. Like, do you know what I mean? And, and I think you're very bold to speak the way you do because I know there's certain adults that would pet and not say nothing do you know what I mean because they don't want to look like the bad guy or they don't want to look like you know oh why are they telling me this negative stuff or make people feel bad but you're not trying to make people feel bad you're trying to help people do you know what I mean and I especially don't want my granddad and all of them people my granddad and his family that who's all who's my family too and I especially don't want them to go to hell because I love them very much and I'm sure God won't send them to hell but I, I don't know what's in God's plan so yeah alright okay well baby thank you so much for taking the time out to um, chat and obviously I hope the subscribers feel they know you know what Hosanna is in her head a little bit more um, because obviously you have siblings who are very forthcoming and they are always kind of pushing to the front and obviously I know of your strengths I know of your gifts um, but this is great for the subscribers to see you know what I mean because sometimes when you're all there you know what Hallie's like you know what Hezzy's like you, you know what it's like you know what Harper's like Go on, they mate. usually say I'm unique and everything but I guess I am sometimes. Yeah, and that's alright. There's nothing wrong with that. So I like being unique. Absolutely. Alright, baby. Say bye to the subscribers. Bye. Love you guys. So you think you were right? Mm-hmm. Bring it up, bring it up, prove me wrong.